Polymorphism comes from the Greek words poly, meaning many, and morph, meaning shape. So if something is polymorphic, that means it can take many shapes. In programming, polymorphism is the ability of some code to act on different data bar types as if they were the same. You see, data has a shape. In strongly typed programming languages, we declare the shape through classes, interfaces, and types. So we might have a user type that has a shape like this. It's got three string properties, a numeric property, and a child object. Let's just call this shape a star for now. And then over here, we might have another data type, this time a company, and that one has different properties. So it has a different shape. Let's call that one a diamond. Well, what if we could write some code that could act on both of these two data structures in the same way? If we wrote a function that accepted some kind of much simpler shape, let's say a triangle, and then we can fit either of these two objects because they both contain the triangle as a shape within their individual data shapes. The triangle, if you hadn't guessed, is an interface. By writing a function that accepts an interface, we've created polymorphic code. The object being passed into this function can be of any type as long as that type implements our interface. So in this example, the interface requires one string property called name, and both the user and the company objects have a name field, so they can both implement it, and they can both be passed into our polymorphic function. Another way you might encounter polymorphism is with languages that support generics. A generic type parameter is a way for writing a function that can be used on multiple different types by controlling what's entered or inferred from this type parameter here. This is a C-sharp example that uses the generic type parameter and returns the name of the type that you've passed in. This function is polymorphic because you can put any type you like into that and it will still work. Here it is with a number. And here's the same function, but with a date time. Polymorphism means many shapes, and it applies to the shape of data structures like objects and classes. Polymorphic code is good because it's more generic. The more different data shapes your code can execute on, then the more reusable it is, and generally, the simpler it is to understand for someone reading it. So I hope this has helped demystify the complicated science sounding word for you of polymorphism. For more coding tips and advice and tutorials, please check out my other videos. But for now, I'm James Charles and this is Train to Code.